Well, hello there. Today, we are going to be ranking all of the Walking Dead universe characters in order. Going to be pretty much no nonsense. Here's the tier list. You have S, A, B, Don't Care, and Trash, and we don't have time to mess around, so let's jump right in. We're starting with Aaron. Aaron is the perfect A-tier character. His story from start to finish of The Walking Dead has been absolutely fantastic. From meeting him when he was scavenging for new members to bring in to Alexandria all the way until he's basically running Alexandria after the fall of the Commonwealth group um, as they took over. It's really such a great story. He has Gracie. He lost Eric. It's a great story. Up next, we have Abraham, gone too soon, but one of the most funny comedic characters in The Walking Dead. He's also an A-tier. I loved him from the moment he was in the show. I loved his group, Rosita Eugene himself. They were great. Their storyline was great, and he was the most macho, funny. He was just the best all around. He was the best. Up next, we have Alden. Alden's a B tier. I liked Alden. Don't get me wrong. I just didn't really think they did enough with him. His death was unfortunate. It was kind of like an off-screen death, which kind of sucked, but I did like him. I liked him and Maggie and their dynamic together. It really made for a good story. I kind of wish they did a little bit more. This lady. I don't know who this lady is, so I'm going to say I don't care. Alicia. Alicia's an S tier. Does that even need to be explained? Alicia is a great protagonist and I don't know if they like I guess they killed her off this season which is pathetic but she was a great character I guess was is the right word for her it was a great character I loved her storyline I thought she really made fear very dominant and she you know she was great to watch alpha alpha's an a tier eh, alpha's an a tier yeah I was going to say b tier but alpha's an a tier I liked her story she was a little kooky I liked her in tales of the walking dead too I just thought all around she, they did a good job with her Althea don't care I literally just straight up don't care about Althea I know people like Althea I just don't like the whole stupid documentary thing documentary I should say thing that they're doing with her I'm not a big fan of this this is Andrea's sister I don't remember her name, trash character, didn't really, no, 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 don't care, not trash, just didn't do anything, but Andrea is a trash character, and that is extremely unfortunate because it's such a deviation from the comics, because Andrea in the comics was awesome, Andrea is the best character of the comics, but in the TV show, she, you know, she was terrible, they wrote her poorly, and honestly, it's not the actress's fault, but I don't think the actress fit the character well and they didn't write the character of Andrea well for TV just all around wasn't a big fan of her so yeah that's that's really it um then we have Anne or we have Jadis um mm, mm, don't care I don't really care for Jadis I didn't like I hated world beyond hated it but uh, didn't really mind her, per se. I just didn't like her. She was just kind of there. Yes, she was a conduit to Rick leaving and being, like, the reason he left, but I don't, I don't care. All right, Beta. Beta is a B tier. I didn't really care for Beta. I liked him in the comics way more than I liked him in the show. As you could see, and you're going to see throughout this list, I didn't really like the Whisperer storyline in the show as much as I did in the comics. I thought in the comics it was awesome. I think a lot of that actually has to do with the accent that Alpha has. I know that sounds so crazy, but in the comics, I never imagined Alpha to have like that I am Alpha voice. Like I always thought it was like a soft spoken, like like not Southern voice. Soft spoken, maybe like um, Jersey area or like a more like a Maryland, Virginia voice, I guess I should say accent wise. I didn't think it was going to be like the Southern like weird voice i don't know but overall i didn't really like the whisperer arc beta was okay he was better in the comics um then we have beth beth i don't care about i just didn't her death was sad yeah but i didn't care about i hated the medical uh, the the hospital arc i didn't like beth she she went from like being depressed like just annoying everyone didn't like her then we have tainted meat bob who i can't get the image out of being d'angelo barksdale out of my head or avon barksdale i should say but i still loved him whichever Barksdale was from The Wire, but I loved him. Um, he wasn't like a great, great character, but I did like him. Tainted Meat, Tainted Meat. You know what? He's going to get A. I actually liked him a little bit more than I liked Alden now that I think about it. Oh, we have Carl next. Did I save Carl for later or no? No, I'll keep him now. Carl's a nest here. 
Carl's at the top. Carl's one of the top of my S tiers. Carl. You know how I feel. If, if you don't know how I feel, I'm going to link the video here. I have two videos, but one I'm going to link here. Carl should never, ever, ever have died. But I went on a whole rant, so you can check out that rant here. Um, I love Carl, though. I absolutely love Carl in the comics and in the TV show. They never should have killed him off. They really, really, really shouldn't have. Um, up next, we have... I just moved Ezekiel down. I'm actually going to move Carol down, too, because I kind of want to talk about these people later. I feel like we don't have anyone good for the bottom. Um, next we have Charlie. Fuck Charlie. I don't care what they did to try to redeem, redeem her. Fuck her. I cannot, cannot look at her the same after she killed Nick. Can't do it. Can't do it. I wish they killed her. I really do. I hate Charlie. Um, this guy, girl, person, I don't know who that is. I can't, I, I'm not sure. I think this is someone from either fear or, uh, a world beyond. I'm just going to say I don't care because I don't know. Next up, we have, and I am drawing a serious blank. Connie. Connie. Mm. Don't care. I know a lot of people are like fan boys and girls of Connie. I didn't really care for Connie. Like, the deaf storyline was cool. Like, it was interesting to have a deaf character on the show. But I didn't really care about her the way certain people did. She just kind of, like, existed. I don't know. I care about her. All of Magnus' group I didn't really care about. Now, I think this is Dakota. I'm pretty sure this is Dakota, but I could be wrong. Dakota, I don't care about either. Didn't really do much for me. Next up, we have... Oh, God. Dale. Got his name for a second. This is Dale. Dale was a B tier. I didn't really like Dale. I know some people who thought Dale was, like, fantastic. I loved Dale in the comics because he was basically Herschel in the comics, but I didn't really like Dale here. Um, he, he, I didn't hate him. Didn't love him. He's just kind of there. I don't know. Didn't, like, really do too much for me. Up next, we have drawing a blank. I know this guy so well. Um, Fear the Walking Dead, guy who's been there since the beginning. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. It's not Victor, obviously. Then that's Strand. I can't remember his name. I know him. I just can't remember his name. I'm gonna say he's great. Um, this A tier is like great. Dan Salazar, Salazar, Jesus, I can't believe I forgot that. Dan Salazar, I liked him a lot. I've always liked him. He was a really awesome character. He was a badass. He's done a lot for the show. I did really like him. Oh, I didn't want to do this one too soon, but up next we have Daryl. Daryl's an S tier. Um, it, it, he's not the highest on my S tier, if I'm being completely honest, but he's an S tier for me. I, I know people are obsessed with Daryl. I totally get it. I never really fell on the bandwagon of being obsessed, but I do recognize that he is a great character on the TV show. Um, I like him more than Alicia. Uh, do I like him more than Carl? I don't know. I'm going to keep him there for now. I'm going to try to make my S tier in order, by the way, but uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Up next, we have Deanna Monroe. Deanna is an A tier. I really liked Deanna. I actually liked that storyline with her. I liked her a lot. Dwight is an S tier for me, specifically on The Walking Dead, like the main show. And then, I mean, I guess also on Fear, but like mainly on The Walking Dead, he is an A, he is an S tier for me. I love Dwight. Actually had the chance. I DM'd him about a piece of art that he had on the store. I said I loved it on Instagram once. And he responded back. Emilio, um, forget his name again. I, I can't remember. Really nice guy. Really, really nice person. Um, really great character. Um yeah, I just like Dwighty Boy. He's the best. I loved him in both shows. And we have this lady from World Beyond. Don't care. I just, I really don't care about that show. And we have this guy from World Beyond. Don't care about him. Then we have Enid. Enid is a... Mm, I liked her more than... I think I liked Enid more than Lydia. So Enid's an A tier for me. And I liked Lydia. But I think... Enid's going to go like kind of towards the top of my A tier. I actually really liked her. When she died, I was screaming. Um, I really liked her. Then we have Eugene. Uh, I love Eugene. Eugene's actually, he's pretty high up on my S tier too. I like him a lot. I think his character arc is fantastic. I like him more in the TV show than I do in the comics. And I think um, his actor plays him really, really well. I just, all around, I really like Eugene. I know there was people who couldn't stand Eugene, but I liked him. I liked him a lot. He was fun to watch. His character arc was fantastic. Um, yeah. And we have this guy from World Beyond. Don't even remember him. Don't care. 
Up next, we have Father G. Father Gabriel is at the tippity top of my S tier. He is one of my all time favorite characters. I love Father Gabriel. He has the most perfect character arc aside from Negan. He is just truly incredible. Truly, truly, truly phenomenal. I love him. Um, speaking of, is Negan even on this list now that I'm taking a look? Let me let me make sure I'm not going crazy. Do I see Negan here? Not Negan, not Negan. No, 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 no. Is, did they not put Negan on this list? I'd be really sure. Oh, okay, he's there. Okay, thank God. I was going to say. Anyway, I've lost, my, I've lost my train of thought. Father Gabriel is an absolute S tier. He's one of my all-time favorites. I know some people don't really like him, but he stands out. He, he left an, a serious impression on me. He's one of my all-time favorite characters. I absolutely love Father Gabriel. He went from a weak wimp to one of the most badass, modest, awesome people ever. Then we have, um, I forget his name from Terminus, the main guy from Terminus. He's a B tier. Didn't really care. He was only in a couple episodes, but he did well. The actor did fantastic. Glenn is an S tier for sure. Um, he's not the highest on my list, but he definitely was the biggest moral compass on the show. For that, I really did enjoy him. Um, his death was horrible, but I was a comic reader. I knew it was coming. Um, overall, I did love Glenn, though. He was the heart of The Walking Dead. I mean, without him, it definitely felt different. Then we have, I, I can't remember her name from um, Fear the Walking Dead, Morgan's like wife lady. Uh, she was good. Didn't really, like, didn't do anything. I'm going to change this one to good. Let's change it to good because this is fine. I'm going to change this actually to great too. Because I think that's where it belongs. I think, I don't know why this isn't working. Let's see. Great. There we go. And then S is S. I'm just going to leave S as that. Then we have... Oh, man, I am forgetting his name, too. Gregory. We have Gregory, who is good. Um, not good in morality, but he was a good character. He was fun to watch. I loved the storyline with Gregory and Maggie. I really did. I He got what he deserved. He, it was fun to watch him. So he's, he's a good character. He, he isn't anything better. He's good. At, he's a good character. And the actor did a fantastic job, too. All right. Up next, we have this lady. I have no idea who this is, to be honest with you. I, I don't even know what show she's from. Can't remember. Um, don't care. Herschel, S tier. Duh. Do I even have to explain that one? Above any of the fear characters for sure. Um, I loved Herschel. I really did. He was he was like Dale. I mean, he was he was like Dale from the comics. And I loved what they did with him. I didn't love him in season two, but I loved the arc he took. I absolutely loved how he was like the moral compass, the dad figure. He was great. He was great. R.I.P. Scott Walker or Scott, uh, I forget his last name. I think it's Walker, but could be wrong. Um, lady from uh, World Beyond, don't care, don't like you. Uh, another, I think this is another World Beyond character, don't like him. Another World Beyond character, don't like him. Actually, trash, 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 don't care. I, I really don't like World Beyond, as you could tell. I'm moving all the World Beyond characters down here. I hated World Beyond. I really did. I just hated it. This guy looks like World Beyond, trash. Um, this guy, I think his name was Otis from season three of fear. Loved him. Great. He was awesome. Kind of looks like a turtle, but he was awesome. Absolutely loved him. Um, fun to watch that storyline at the, I guess it was a farm or the gulch or whatever they called it. It was awesome. Um, then we have Jerry. I'm also named Jerry. So, uh, he has a special place in my heart, but I actually do love Jerry. Jerry's awesome. He's a great character. Um, up next, we have Jesse, I think her name was, uh, the one who died in No Way Out. Great storyline there. Jesse was great. Her kids sucked, though. Um, oh, I put this guy from I put I put this guy from World Beyond accidentally back in the list. He's trash, though. Um, and then we have Thomas Paine, uh, Jesus, Jesus, Paul Rovia. Uh, mm, good. And that's unfortunate because Jesus in the comics is fantastic, but I feel like they wasted his character in uh, the TV show. I really do. It's a shame for Thomas Paine because I know he really wanted to do a lot with the character, but they never really got to do much with him. Um, up next, we have John Dory. John Dory is S tier. I loved John Dory. I really did. He might be. No, I like Alicia more, but for fear, he's an S tier character. He really is. Um, he's going to be at the bottom of S here because he's not a canon Walking Dead character, but I did love John Dory. I really did. 
Um, up next, we have Princess. Princess is good. I liked her in the TV show. I thought she was adapted near perfectly um, to the comics, but she doesn't really serve much of a purpose. Uh, she's just kind of there and they pick her up on the way. Oh, this is going to be a controversial one, guys. This is going to be a very controversial one. Um, and this is nothing against Kaylee Fleming at all, but I fucking hate Judith Grimes. Crash. Sorry. That's all. Judith Grimes. I made a video about it. I talked about Carl. Judith Grimes. It's it's not necessarily that the character is the problem, but the character is so stained because they tried to make her Carl and she's clearly not Carl. She's not even a Grimes and she can't represent the Grimes family because she didn't even know her dad. Her, her mother, Michonne, had to tell stories about her dad as the brave man because she was too young to even know who the fuck he was. I could go off on a tangent. Judith was a horrible replacement for Carl, and that is not Kaylee Fleming's fault. That is Scott Gimple's fault for writing this into existence. Fuck Judith. I don't like Judith as a character, and mainly because I don't like the story direction that they went in with her. I just don't, I don't like what they did to try to, like, make her Carl. It was pathetic, and again, nothing against Kaylee Fleming. Nothing against Judith Grimes, the character. Just overall, fuck Judith Grimes. I don't, I don't like the thought of it. That's it. Um, drawing a blank on her name, John Dory's wife, uh, Joan, Joan, uh, June, June is her name. Good. Eh, no, great. I liked, I like June. June's cool. Um, don't have much to say. I forget. Bonnie Kelly. Kelly's good. I feel like she didn't have much of a story though. Um, then we have Lance, Lance Hornsby. Oh man. I loved Lance, and I loved the actor who played Lance. I absolutely loved how they remixed it from the comics, loved everything about it. They did a fantastic job with the actor who played him, the casting, all of it. I loved, loved, loved Lance. Loved the twist. His ending was a little silly, I'm not going to lie. I didn't really like the way they killed him off, but I loved Lance. I really did. He was a great villain. I wish we had more time with him. Um, yeah. Then we have... From season nine, the Reapers, or not uh, season ten and eleven, the Reapers. I hated her. Hated her. Actress did a great job, but I hated her. Couldn't stand her. I hated the Reaper arc so much. Just uh, it was on the tip of my tongue, and I lost it. Hated her. Le Leah, Leah, fuck Leah. And we have this person. I want to say this is a world beyond character because of the color grading. I'm just gonna put him in trash just because I think it's a world beyond character. And I also think this is a world beyond character. It might be a fear character, but I'm also going to put this in trash because I don't know who these people are. They actually look a lot alike here. I don't know who they are, um, but I don't like them. Lori, I don't care about. I just didn't care about her. When she died, I was happy, to be honest with you. I thought she was kind of rude. I'm going to fix up. I'm going to fix up my camera. When she died, I was happy. That's all I'm going to say. Didn't really care about her. Um... And I think, honestly, we talked about this in another video that I'm also going to link here. Judith, should, Judith, like in the comics, should have went out with Laurie. It's just a personal opinion. I forget her name. I really do. I forget her name. It's not Althea. I don't, I don't remember her name. I'm just going to say I didn't care about her because if I don't remember the name, I don't really care about her that much. Lydia, I think Lydia is, is great. I don't think she's as good as Eden, and I said this earlier, but I did like Lydia. I really did. I thought Lydia did a great job. Um, it was a fun storyline with her. I just wish, I just wish Carl was around to be in the storyline. Up next, we have Madison Clark. Does this even need to be explained? Madison Clark is at the tippity top of my Fear the Walking Dead S tier. Love Madison Clark. Wonderful, wonderful story. The show really is the Clark family, and it's a shame that she got written off, and it's a shame that Nick had to leave because Madison Clark was awesome. Absolutely, absolutely awesome. Let me just fix... I just kind of want to fix my Windows screen a little bit. Let's see. Eh, no, nah, I'll leave it how it is. I'll leave it how it is. Up next, we have Maggie. Maggie is... This is going to be a controversial one. Maggie's at the top of my S tier. I mean, of my of my great tier. I don't think Maggie is an S tier character personally. She has some great storylines. Maybe this will be subject to change, but for now, I'm going to place her in the A tier. 
I, I liked Glenn more. I didn't love Maggie, especially in the later seasons. I didn't really think they did too much with her. She has a fantastic arc, but at the end, she got kind of bitter and turned into a bit of a hypocrite, and I didn't like what they did. I'm really excited for Dead City, but overall, I, I don't know. Now, I think she'll stay in A tier. Like, she's not bad at all. She's a great character. She's one of my favorites in the show. And, like, so, so is, like, anyone in A tier I really like. But... I don't know. I didn't like her as much as some of the characters that are sitting in S tier. Um, I might have to rethink this in a little bit, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. I don't have a script, so whatever. We have Magna next. Magna, I don't care about, which is a shame because in the comics, Magna was really cool. But in the, in, the, uh, in the show, I don't really care for her. Next, we have Mercer. Mercer had a pretty big deviation from the comics. I mean, the storylines panned out the same, but like... From the comics, like they felt very different. But that being said, I thought Mercer was great. I actually really liked Mercer in the in the show. Um, Mercer was a cool character. I really enjoyed. Up next, we have Meryl. Meryl is also an A uh, great tier, A tier, whatever you call him. I'm gonna put him up here. I really liked Meryl. I liked his character arc. I thought he did a fantastic job. Next up, we have Michonne. Michonne is an S tier. Does that even need to be explained? Michonne is ahead of Carl. Yeah, for sure. Michonne's ahead of Carl. I love Michonne. Um, I still think Father G is a personal favorite, um, but I love Michonne. I'm starting to run out of time, so I got to speed this up a little bit. But Morgan Jones. Morgan Jones is ahead of Father G for me. I fucking love Morgan Jones. I love, 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 love Morgan Jones on both shows. Clear Morgan was amazing. His character arc was amazing. I just, I, I, I absolutely love him. I wish they didn't put him on fear because I hate fear, but... I don't hate fear. I just don't like fear being dramatic, but I, I love Morgan Jones. I love, he might be, he might be my all time. No, actually, never mind. He's not my all time. Negan is my all time. I loved Negan in the comics, but I fucking loved, loved Negan in the show. They did a fantastic job with him. I can't wait for him to go to Dead City. His character arc in the show was better than in the comics. I just love Jeffrey Dean Morgan's portrayal of him. The charisma was amazing. I wish they got to have him curse. It's a shame that they didn't start allowing cursing until season 11 of The Walking Dead because season 7 of The Walking Dead would have been amazing with Negan being able to curse. But Negan is a perfect character. He is one of my all-time favorite characters in cinema history. I love, love Negan Smith. It's such a fantastic character. Villain to hero. Amazing. I, when Rick left... I was happy because I knew he was going to take over as basically one of the leads, and he did, and he made the show great. I mean, obviously, it's not the same as the old Walking Dead. Ne the Negan arc changed the Walking Dead forever, but in a good way to me because I love Negan. I could go on and on and on and on. I love Negan. Best character ever. Anyway, up next, we have Nick, who is also one of the best characters ever, believe it or not. I am going to put him high up on fear. I mean, high up on my S tier. I'm going to put him right here. I'm going to put him right here. This is the actual order. I love Nick. It's a shame that they had to kill him off because he wanted to leave the actor because Nick was fear. If he stayed on fear, man, fear would have been way better. Way, way, way better. If it was like Nick and Morgan. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That would. Oh, one could dream, right? One could dream. I love Nick. Up next, we have this person. I don't know who this is kind of looks like a a kind of looks like a world beyond character but if not still trash no nah, you know what because i really no nah, trash looks like a world beyond character um and we have uh ba -ba -ba pam pamela i liked pam in the comics more than i did in the tv show but pam's great um she was fun i liked the actress who did her she was great um just all around pamela milton was awesome this is definitely a fear character I think. I mean, definitely. Looks like a fear character. Or not fear. Uh, b -b 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 world beyond. <laughs> Doo -doo. Up next, we have the governor. A t S tier. S tier. He's going to stay there for now. But I loved him. Um, and I loved him in the comics, too. But I loved him specifically in, um, in the show more. Then we have Rosita. Rosita is... Uh, Rosita's good to me. Like, I, I do love Rosita. She has a special place in my heart. But I kind of feel like they didn't use her that much and she was pretty dry. She's going to go to the top of my good tier. I'll maybe reconsider it in a little, but that's where I'm going to keep her for now. And we have this person from um, season. I think this was season five or four of Fear. 
Um, I don't really care about this person. I don't really remember who they are, or what they did. Sasha, I also don't care about. I'm not even going to go deep into that one. I just don't care about Sasha. I didn't like her stories. Shane. Shane is great, man. Shane's great. He's going to go high on the list of great. I love Shane. Um, I wish we got to see a great Tales of the Walking Dead episode would be like, what if kind of if he survived or like what happened during the fall with Shane? It would be awesome to see that. That's what fear should be. I mean, uh, that's what tales should be. It should be things like that. It should be stories like that. All right. Up next, we have um, Sherry. Sherry is Dwight's wife. She's she's good. She's good. I liked her in both shows. She's good. I don't really have much to say. This is actually this is actually kind of an unpopular opinion in amongst the Walking Dead community that I see here. Sadiq. Sadiq is great. I like Sadiq. I thought he was I thought he was a really great character. He was fun to watch. He really was. I enjoyed everything that he did. Um I hated that he was the reason Carl died, but I liked him a lot. I really did. Up next we have uh who is that? This this is the guy from um this guy from World Beyond. And although I've put every other character in World Beyond in trash, I'm going to graduate him to don't care. He's a step above trash. <laughs> Still don't care about him. Uh, but he was his story was actually pretty good in um, World Beyond. I'm not going to lie. Simon. Simon's up next. Simon is great. Simon is awesome. I loved Simon. He was he really made season eight shine. Stephen Ogg. Oh, my God. He, he it was so awesome. He was so fun to watch. It was literally Trevor in the flesh, like Trevor from GTA. Oh, man, he was awesome. Loved him. Up next, we have Sophia. Um, Sophia, I don't really care about, to be honest with you. I never really did, even even when I was watching it for the first time. Didn't really care about Sophia. I cared about, like, you know, Carol and all them, but I didn't care about. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Spencer. Spencer, I don't care about. Actually, no, to me, Spencer. No, Spencer was written bad, like written bad on purpose. I don't mean he was written bad, like, like actually like poorly written. I think he was written bad because he was like meant to be hated. It was by design for that. I'm going to say he's trash, but not because they wrote him bad. I just fucking hated him. Like I hated him. Couldn't stand watching Spencer. But that being said, it was because they, they designed it that way. It wasn't like he was poorly written like some of these people. Um... You know what? Because of that, because everyone else, I think, is poorly written. I actually think he belongs and don't care just because of that reason alone. But I don't like Spencer at all, like at all. Up next, we have um, Maxine. I hmm, Maxine was was good to me. You know what? I don't really care about Maxine, to be honest with you. I really don't. I don't really care about Maxine. I'm happy that Eugene found love, but I don't really care about her. Um, then we have T-Dog. I don't really care about T-Dog either. I, I I didn't hate him. I just don't really care about him. I'll put him at the top of my don't care because I think he's like not bad. I just I, I don't really care about him. Tara. A lot of people hated Tara. I actually don't understand this. I really liked Tara. Tara's great to me. Tara's like a really cool character. She's not ahead of Aaron, though, or Michael Cudlitz. Um, but I really did like Tara. She was fun. She added humor to the show. I She brought the spirits up. Uh, her death was sad. All of the above. Up next, we have Travis. Um, Travis was great. Eh, was he a nest here? No, he was great. Travis was great. Really did enjoy Travis. Uh, it's a shame he wanted off of the show and his death was terrible. His death was pathetic. I hated, hated his death scene in season three. But Travis was all right. I mean, like... I wish they did more with him. It's unfortunate that the actor wanted to leave because he it was I he made the walk. He made Fear the Walking Dead. This guy was great. I can't remember his name. Season three of Fear the Walking Dead. Not Otis, but the other guy. I almost wanted to call him Travis, but I forget this guy's name. Um, He will go in great, too. I really liked his storyline. You like hated him, but he, he served a good purpose. I enjoyed him. And we had Tyrese. Tyrese was also eh, Tyrese is good. Tyrese is just good. I don't really think Tyrese graduates the great. Um, I like Tyrese in the comics more. Victor Strand. Oh boy, we have Victor Strand. I love Victor Strand, S tier. He is another awesome one. He's going to go next to John Dory, man. I love Strand. I love how he's like protagonist, antagonist, 
everything. I just, I love him. I really do. I didn't love everything they did with him in season seven, but I just, I do love Strand. Strand's awesome. Up next, we have, um, God, what's her name? Virginia. Virginia was the best villain for sure. Um, she's going to go in great. Virginia was the best villain in Fear the Walking Dead for sure, like without a doubt. And then we have this guy from Fear. I can't remember his name. Honestly, I, I don't know. I, I can't. I don't really care about him. I'll put him in don't care. Bouncing around a lot. This list is getting so long, like so long. I might have to I might have to zoom out a little bit, but this list is getting crazy. Up next, we have. Um, what's her name? I can't remember her name. I almost called her Ursula. <laughs> I can't remember her name. Lawyer uh, from Magna's group. It's drawing a blank. It's really drawing a blank. Yar, blah, 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 blah. Yumiko. Yumiko. Yumiko was great. I actually really liked what they did with Yumiko. She's my favorite out of Magna's group. Um, I thought they did a really great job with her and they remixed, uh, you know, Magna's group for the better with her. Um, so, yeah. Up next, we have Carol. Carol is an S tier. I think Carol is right here to me. Right here. You know what? Carol's right next to... Carol's right next to Daryl and a little bit ahead of Daryl. Yeah, Carol had a fantastic character arc, like really such a good one. She's always been the widow. It's been great to follow her. Love Carol. Um, then we have Ezekiel. Ezekiel is another one. This <sighs> confusing. I love Ezekiel, but like sometimes I have mixed feelings about Ezekiel too. I don't think he's going to be an S tier, but he's going to be at the top of my A tier. Like he, he really is. I, I, he was the heart of the show. Like in the later seasons, he kind of like took Glenn's place for being like the heart of the show. But that being said, uh, I kind of feel like he should have died the way he died in the comics. I think it would have done well, but I did like what they did with Henry, which now that I'm looking at this list, I'm realizing they didn't put Henry on this list. If they did put Henry on this list, Henry would be great to me. I actually thought even though they clearly just needed to replace Carl and use Henry and use him as a story trip and I didn't like that and I already made the argument with Judith that I didn't like that, but I did like Henry. Like I enjoyed watching Henry's story. I thought it felt a little more natural than the forcing of Judith. Just just a personal preference. Um and then last but not least on this list, we have the old man Ricky, Ricky Rick. Um, Rick is definitely S tier. Let's just see. He is definitely S tier. I think it is going to go this way. I know that's a little crazy for some. Negan is my all time favorite, then Rick, then Morgan, then um, Father G in this order. Like it is actually in this order. Um, but yeah, that is the list. And I'm just going to say, I don't, I don't think I really need to explain why Rick's a nest here. Like, I, I think you all get it. <laughs> Rick is an awesome character. I, I think it goes without saying that that he's just great. But now that I'm looking at this list, we have Negan as my all time favorite. I mean, there's no shock there. Negan's the best. Then we have Rick. Then we have Morgan. Then we have Father G. Then Denai Guerrera. This is appropriate for me. Carl's the only one that I feel like is in a questionable spot. A questionable spot. Um, yeah, no, no, I like, I like this placement. This is the list. Yeah, I think I like this. This is the list. I love The Walking Dead. It's had many great characters and it's a tribute to an amazing run from everyone who worked on the show. The, everyone who acted in the show did a great job. There is truly no bad actors or actresses on this show. Even, even the people in trash, there is truly no bad actors or actresses. These people all did great jobs. But I didn't like their character. And yeah, that's that's about it. Cheers to the best one of the best running long running shows ever. Love the Walking Dead. Thanks to all the people who have acted in this show. Um, and yeah, that's the list. Let me know in the comments your list. I would love to hear it. And if you don't like this list, I'd love to know why. I would love to know what you would do differently on the list. And yeah, with all of that out of the way, thanks again so much for watching this video. I'm glad you came out for it. And until the next one, I'll talk to you later. Peace out.